Dr. Lee Tompkins. Oh, my. <laughs> now, what is a girl like you doing in a place like this? I heard a rumor you were frozen. Should have known it was too good to be true. Well, you're not still mad at me, are you? Mad at you for what? Killing Chris and Kringle? Or framing Jim for murder so he would be in prison when I lost our child? <laughs> I'm over all that. Let's be friends. I'm sensing sarcasm. Just as sharp as ever. Actually, funny that you mentioned that. Goodbye, Ed. Wait. <gasps> Holy hell. What'd you go see? What have you done to him? Nothing, believe it or not. And he goes by Grundy now. Hey, why don't you hang over there, big fella? Make sure that wall doesn't wander off. I have no idea what happened to him, but he's freakishly strong. Can't remember anything about his past life. He seems to love me, so big improvement. But I, on the other hand, I'm, uh, I'm really hoping to get back to who I was. I, when I was on ice, my head got a little scrambled. Why should I care? Okay, I came here with Grundy. Gonna fight, make some money to get me smart again. But you, Dr. Leslie Tompkins, you can fix me. You want me to fix you. Oh, you really are dumb. Okay, okay. You're here for some reason. I don't pretend to know what that is, but if you help me, I will help you. I know you're not really smart right now, so just try to understand this. I will never help you.